The term mise-en-scene is originally derived from the theater and is a French word that simply means to put into the scene. In cinema, mise-en-scene encompasses every aspect of filmmaking that is shared with its theatrical roots, the lighting, setting, costumes, and staging. A great filmmaker utilizes the mise-en-scene to elevate their work, conveying emotions and themes in the story that dialogue simply cannot. One of the best films of recent memory to display an exceptional use of the mise-en-scene is Barry Jenkins' Academy Award-winning film, Moonlight. Jenkins takes every advantage of each aspect of the mise-en-scene that he can, adding poetry to an already deep and beautiful story. The lighting and colors of Moonlight are not just for style and beauty. There's a reason that purple and dark and light blue are featured so prominently in the film's poster. This is made obvious by the line and title drop implying importance. In Moonlight, black boys look blue. This line is a thematic core to the film, referencing the profiling of black men and how black is seen as a dark, harsh, and sinister color, much like how black men are often unfortunately portrayed in the media. While blue is seen as a calming and relaxing color, making the moonlight almost a relief for black men, a time when they can express themselves and truly be themselves, much like Chiron does in the film, i.e. the beach scene with Kevin. But the actual lighting itself is constantly used to perpetrate messages about individual characters that the film is conveying. My personal favorite is when Chiron's mother, Paula, screams at him in the hallway when he's little, and it reoccurs right before he is introduced as black in the form of a dream. Don't look at me! <laughs> Later in the film, Paula says, you ain't gotta love me. Lord knows I did not have love for you when you needed it. I know that. So you ain't gotta love me, but you gonna know that I love you. This use of mise-en-scene is foreshadowing that moment. The striking, illuminating pink lights coming from her room in the dark, dirty green hallway of their home represents the love that she still has for Chiron. As the light fades, so does her love. The city of Miami is a great backdrop for the setting of Moonlight. Not only is it the home of Jenkins and co-writer Terrell Alvin McCraney, it features the harsh inner city streets and crack houses quintessential to the themes of systemic racism juxtaposed with the beautiful nature of South Florida. Jenkins uses both of these settings brilliantly, with the bully Terrell, Paula, and Chiron's father figure Juan representing both the good and bad sides of those streets. But the nature, beaches, and trees counter this struggle. Here, Chiron is safe. It is where he gets a swimming lesson from Juan, representing learning how to stay afloat on top of all the madness. And it is where he has his first sexual experience with Kevin before he gets sent away to Atlanta and lives a life untrue to himself. The mise-en-scene of the costumes and staging in Moonlight represent Chiron's growth as a character. As little, he of course, dresses as a little boy. It wouldn't make much sense if he didn't. He stands timid and apart from his peers. As he grows up, he's now known as Chiron. Not much of his look has changed, but his peers have. He's still that little boy. Once Terrell pushes him too far, he becomes black. And now, as an adult, he fronts as someone he's not, literally wearing fronts alongside his new wardrobe. Instead of the one being intimidated, he is now the intimidation. The muscle at drug deals, and when he is with his fellow drug dealer, he's above him. He is strong, and even a bit of a bully. Even when they're sitting down together, Black looks down at him. These uses of mise-en-scene are subtle, but they are conscious, and work together with the script to tell a beautiful story. Mise-en-scene can be found in any film, but a great film utilizes it to further enrich their themes and emotions. Barry Jenkins does just that in Moonlight, whether it be the use of color to present the relationship between a mother and her son, setting to signify systemic racism and triumphing above it, or costumes and staging to show the growth of a character. Jenkins' understanding of the mise-en-scene is unmatched in Moonlight, and it's why it's considered one of the greatest films of the 21st century.